So in this section, we're going to look at third-party apps. What exactly are they and how do you find them? So in this course, we've looked at all of the pre-installed apps, the apps that come straight out of your box. And so by now, you should have a good idea about what each one of them does and how to tweak it and what their main functions are and certainly what some of the weaknesses are of those apps. And we've covered nearly all of them. There's a couple that haven't been covered. What you can also do on your iPad is add other apps and all of the apps that you can install are found in the App Store and in the App Store as you know you can browse by section you can browse by category or you can search for a specific name of an app as long as you know the name of that app. In September 2014 the App Store had over 1 million apps. Now if you're looking for an app that search is very overwhelming. There's no way to determine which apps are actually good out of all those apps you're looking for. There's also too many apps to search through on the App Store. And there's no way to determine which apps actually meet your specific need. So if you're looking for a replacement for the calendar app and you've found through searching there's a, a whole lot of calendar apps, how do you know which one is the best one for you? So finding the right app can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. Luckily, there are app search engines. And these are search engines that search for a variety of apps made by a third party. And third party are just developers that develop apps on any given topic. And what they do is give you app discovery. So you're able to search for uh, a specific genre, category, niche of apps through these search engines. They give you lists. So you've got the ability to make a list or to set up a watch list for any new apps on a certain topic. And they also recommend apps for you based on your current usage or whatever apps you have already installed on your iPad. This section explores four of these search engines. And there are many more and I'll leave some links in the resources sections for more websites that help you find apps. But these are some of the, the top four we're going to look at. First one is called App Start. This one is, an, is available as an app from the App Store and it goes through all the sorts of apps that you could have as a new user. And it doesn't use any of the pre-installed apps. It just goes through now, different categories, so you can see on the example here, the holy grail of email it will give you uh, a whole lot of ways to use email on your iPad. So it's not just about apps, but it's also about how you're going to use those apps. Now, we've also got a website here called App Crawler. And App Crawler is a search engine, search and discovery engine for apps. Not only Apple apps, but you can search for Android apps and iPhone apps. So it's a, a very big search engine, one of the best ones. Then there's another website called App Shopper, where if you create an account with App Shopper, you can actually set up wish lists, and it gives you top apps and your apps, and uh, provides new news of new apps. It's a good one to belong to. And then the uh, last one we're going to look at is called App Advice. Now it gives you app, app reviews and updates and sales and tells you when uh, paid apps become free that's a good one to keep you up to date so by the time you finish this section you'll have an idea about how to find other apps to expand your apps arsenal if you like you can have a whole range of new apps that you can use that don't have the weaknesses that the pre-installed apps have